Today is September 16th. I hunted that little patch of woods there the other day and had at least three deer, maybe a fourth one. I couldn't quite confirm. It looked like a fourth one. Come down in there in that little bottom, there's some willows down there. The wind was a little iffy that day and I took a chance because the wind was kind of coming this way and I was hoping it'd go over the deer. There was enough getting down in there, they were smelling me and they were kind of skirting back. Today the wind is going straight that way. So the deer I think are bedding on, there's like a little peninsula up in here, surrounded by water and cattails. And the deer tend to work up this way. And they always seem to end up in that little bottom. Even the deer that come from that way. I'm hoping that my wind's cutting straight enough across that if deer do come from up that way, they, they just drop in the valley here and they don't smell me. I'm gonna be hunting on the ground today. And I'm gonna try and get close enough to these trails. What I'm gonna do is make a big wide swing. So any deer come from that way, they will cut my trail. But there could be deer bedded down in there right now. And uh, right now I'm taking a chance with the wind blowing there. But I'm gonna make a swoop around and drop in and get set up. So you see the, the trees by themselves off to the left. I think those are small oak trees. Bucks like to go there and rub on those trees, rub, you know, the licking limb and then scrape around the bottom. And they work down these willows. And there's other deer the other day, I think they just came over that hill and dropped down in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get up there in the shadows somewhere where I can shoot to that tree and then into these trails. I'm gonna put my main camera right here, filming back at me. Four and a half hours of battery, that's more than enough. All right, we'll hit record and let this guy go. So I think right here, next to this bush is gonna be the best spot. I could shoot to right here where this tree is. It's 15 yards, there's a trail right here at 10 yards. And I can shoot out 20 yards out there. Tell you what, if a deer comes in, it's gonna be close. And hunting from the ground close quarters like this gives me a lot of anxiety. You guys that hunt from the ground may know what I'm talking about. I'm in this tall grass here. Closest trail is just maybe 10 yards at that. There's another trail about 15 and then another one at 20. I just kind of work these willows in front of me. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. The deer I saw the other day, they all come off up this way, stopped at these oaks here. Kind of went right through here, or around this willow here. And uh, I can shoot right here, right here. And then there's another trail about 20 yards out there. But man, they're gonna be close. And uh, I gotta be on my toes. I gotta be listening for that grass rustling and be ready to shoot. I got my 4K action camera right here filming me and kind of filming back this way and my 360 camera up above me wherever it's at so right, right there and then up on up on the hill there I got my Sony AX53 zoomed in and focused on this little bottom where I'm at it'll see me and it'll see the deer approach so if I get a chance at a deer it's going to be some pretty cool footage I think Anyway, time to get quiet and start listening for deer moving in here.
not sure what that was. Hopefully the cameras caught it. Could have been a deer, coat, raccoon, who knows. I just heard something moving through the grass. Never saw it. I took my milkweed and dropped it and kind of went that way, but then it blew right back in my face, so not sure if it winded me or if it was a deer. But it's still early, 6.30. This place, the wind is really crazy down here. Because the, the, these woods are kind of making us whirl down here in this low spot. I just gotta hope they come through when the wind is blowing in my face. Didn't see anything this evening. Thought I heard one right over here and heard it run off. I'm gonna check the camera up on the hill and see if we got any deer on, on video. Could have been a coyote, could have been a raccoon, could have been anything. I just heard something move through the grass away from me. Wind was swirling a little bit. I dropped some milkweed right after I heard it. It kind of went that way, but then the milkweed cut back. It's swirling right here, and it could have been just enough to give the deer a whiff of my scent. So that's ground hunting for you. This is a tricky spot apparently because the, the wind just doesn't want to do right. I thought I had a favorable wind, but it just, it's in my face, but it just keeps swirling. But anyway, that's it. We'll give it another go tomorrow, perhaps. <laughs>